three signs that your third eye chakra is activated. One is vivid dreams and visions. This is a sign that you are receiving a lot of downloads, messages, and premonition that may be happening in your life. Vivid dreams and visions can happen at night when you sleep or even during the day when you're just wondering about things or curious about something and you have this aha moment. The third eye chakra is usually the first sign of an initial spiritual awakening. When I was going through an awakening, the first signs that I saw were vivid dreams and visions because that was a significant point where I started to activate and work and focus on my third eye chakra. Your third eye holds the power to see what your eyes don't naturally see. You begin to remember your dreams, maybe you keep a dream journal which I highly recommend because dreams do become reality and at first you may start waking up around 2-3 a.m. because that was what was happening in my body and maybe you guys can relate waking up in the middle of the night and suddenly you get this message, this download. Two is intuition. Your intuition becomes more sensitive, it becomes more heightened. You start trusting more in that intuition and that includes the heart and the gut centers because that is is where it is guiding you it is leading you to understand your current path your intuition doesn't lie it should guide you and three is headaches and a tingling sensation between your forehead this should be a temporary feeling where you start to feel this sudden rush of messages downloads coming into you and it can give you that tingling forehead sensation where you see and you will know it when these messages come in all of a sudden and these messages are meant to guide you it is allowing you to connect more with that sensory perception that we forgot and it is also opening up and activating as well as practicing you to trust more in not only your intuition but in understanding this third eye senses that you have these are some extra signs that you may also be feeling when you're activating your third eye being sensitive to energy, being sensitive to your surroundings, seeing aura colors, aura signs, becoming more aware of your consciousness, and also maybe time traveling or quantum jumping. When you see vivid dreams, visions, or even daydreaming, you may be astral traveling. Hope this helps and share in the comments what other signs you may have experienced with your third eye chakra awakening. Type 2 indigo star seeds are known to be healers to be the most common indigos and an advanced psychic development. You are here to restore the codes of ascension or to restore the DNA template, the original 12 strand DNA template by bringing it to its highest potential. You guys have an interdimensional contract since birth and that means that you can not only easily able to manifest to bring things into reality but you may also be someone that dreams a lot or have a lot of vision since you were young and weren't sure what to do. You weren't certain what it was but that is a way of bringing portals, connecting with the other side, connecting in with the higher dimensions. You may be gifted in the arts, music, linguistic translations or even diplomacy. Type two in Indigos can also be the most personable of the three indigo ties because you enjoy human connection, you enjoy connecting with others. That's why you may be not only sensitive to energy, but you also like to do healing arts or you feel the energy of someone that you connect. You enjoy human bonding, which is which is why I feel that those who are type 2 indigos, if you're watching this, you not only connect to someone very easily and you recognize their connection, but you're also here to heal the earth, to bring back to its frequency, to bring back to its original 12 strand DNA. Your mission is to raise the consciousness of earth, is to guide others through their ascension, through their awakening and also realize their path of existence. Human connection is important because you can feel their energy, you can also do a lot of energy and healing work. This leads to raising consciousness, raising the awareness to bring back to the diamond sun matrix also known as the 12 strand DNA. And this leads you to assist the indigo type 1 and indigo type 3's mission into bringing back to its original template. Meaning to hold the space and bring the frequency back up and to help heal the planetary grid work that is here on earth. If you're an indigo type 2, let me know in the comments and follow for more to stay tuned for type 3 indigos. Type 3 indigos are the most common type of indigo star seeds that have incarnated on this earth presently. This group of star seeds started to bird at a very small amount 200 years ago. You guys have two different avatars in one body. 
which is the orphan avatar overseeing the Nephilim avatar's spirit essence. Your purpose here is to bring back the codes of ascension, to bring back the original strands of the DNA. You refuse to follow orders or you refuse to do what others tell you to do. You have your own mindset. You are very independent. You also are very knowledgeable in arts and languages, math and sciences, and the ancient studies too. Type 3 indigo star seeds can have polarity issues meaning that you can be very conflicted about what's right and what's wrong like the angels versus the devil not only you relate to the signs and symptoms of an indigo star c type 3 contract but you have incarnated on this earth to ascend to help others ascend to this new earth to help them see their original template to fight back the darkness and the negative agenda that is going on. You are basically realigning the lost causes, the lost war that's been happening in the higher dimensions. Part of your contract as a type 3 indigo star seed is that you hold a lot of cellular memories from your past life, from conflicts to power abuses of the lifetime experiences that you've been through because your soul's mission is to help not only others ascend but to also master your patterns, get out of that patterns that you have to see through that journey. This is where your mission is to not only realign and bring back the imprints of the lost races back to its 12 strand DNA, it is also to heal your imprint that you've been affected by the negative alien agenda by the Nephilim imprints. Also all the way to the 24 to 48 strand DNA of the orphan. You see that angels or angelic human beings are such powerful beings that exist on this earth. They are truly here to connect with Gaia to connect with the source and also connect back to its CDT template. What's interesting about Indigo Type 3 Star Seeds is that you guys are so unique, you're very different. Maybe when you were younger, you had ADHD, you were bipolar, you had symptoms of neurodivergency where people thought you guys were weird, something was wrong with you, and that's probably why kids like that take so much medication. That is also your psychic experience as a child that has grown into an adulthood and you've incarnated on this earth to bring back the distortion that's been happening in the multi-dimensions that's been happening all around us and bring it all back to source to its original template.